The message you're about to listen to is a message from Apostle Eric Nyamiche, the chairman of the Church of Pentecost. Apostle Eric Nyamiche preaches the gospel in its simplest form to help the believers walk in Christ and also how the believer relate with his world. This year, the message is on unleashing the church to possess nation. Join us and let's learn from Apostle Eric Nyamiche and be a blessing to the world. If you are new to this page, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification bell so that when new videos are uploaded, you can have access to it. Make sure you go to our own page and check out for more videos. Thank you. See, the Bible regularly refers to the heart as the center of one's inner life. That is what I'm describing as the inner man. An orientation to God from which a person does all thinking, feeling, and choosing. So please hold it that the Bible regularly refers to the heart as the center of one's inner Life. From which a person does all thinking, feeling, and choosing. Now, so from tonight, we will begin gradually to bring the teachings on uh, bitterness to a close. Next week, I will discuss how to deal with bitterness. Maybe conclude with the life of Joseph and Psalm 4. But before we talk about dealing with bitterness or curing a bitter spirit, I believe that prevention is better than cure. It is better that in the midst of all offenses, since offenses are inevitable, you develop an attitude against contracting bitterness. Let's all try to develop an attitude against contracting bitterness. Now for the past months, we have studied that bitterness is a seed of resentment in the heart. And that bitterness is a malady that attacks the human heart. Now it destroys. So the best way is to prevent it from attacking your heart. We can read from the screen. Things that find space in their heart are difficult to approach. So all that we have been doing through the teaching on bitterness is to make you aware of the dangers of bitterness. How it is contracted. And how it can lead to death and destruction. If you have understood me, then I believe that your greatest desire should be how you will prevent a bitter spirit than to contract bitterness and struggle to overcome it. Because we have said that bitterness destroys the individual career. Now of the bitter spirit is the first person that the bitterness spirit will destroy. So, and it will become a problem to many others. In terms of destroying relationships, it destroys families, it destroys institutions, it destroys nations. Bitterness means an invitation to the devil. 
and we are not ignorant of his devices now you don't have to give the enemy any space because he will exploit it now so before i talk about solution as in dealing with bitterness i want to offer an advice as to how to prevent it on top of all that we have been saying over the months so if you have followed me closely by this time you have a lot of things to do to prevent bitterness so i'll just give you two just to top up all that you have received over the months so wait me and so two me me so number one if bitterness is a seed of resentment in the heart then the first solution is to prevent this seed from entering the heart. So you do ya wa mina ba in hinta nipa kume mudia and ye ye see an okwino, ye di can see a yen say ye to me sorry tia na sabe amma ya kume mukra. Secondly, ye tosumienu if bitterness attacks the heart, then it is also good to develop a strong, healthy heart that cannot contract this malad so ya odie ya kuma ya dia dia ene ye see to me nya kuma e din asaya re e bonu kura into me no so prevent the seed from entering the heart and develop a strong heart that will not contract this malady so i'll take the first one prevent seeds of resentment from entering the heart now i'll remind you of matthew chapter 12 now this teaching is to link up what we have been doing over the months so that just to recap in a way uh even though it's still a lesson so that we'll be able to continue and move away from what we were discussing a couple of weeks ago so matthew chapter 12 33 34 35 make a tree good and its fruits will be good or make a tree bad and its fruit will be bad for a tree is recognized by its fruit now make a heart good and its fruit will be good you brood of vipers how can you who are evil say anything good once you are evil on the inside uh john is saying that you may not be able to say anything good for the mouth speaks what the heart is full of a good man brings good things out of the good stored up in his heart and an evil man brings evil things out of the evil stored up in his hand. Now the second one is the argument that when you are evil on the inside you cannot speak anything good if you try to do that you only be a hypocrite he is just advancing the argument by saying that a good man brings good things out of the good stored up in his heart yeah. and a bad fellow brings evil things out of the evil stored up in his heart yeah. Yes. now we have studied that as we travel on the road of life we keep gathering things in our hands ah it could be good and it could be evil what's this teaching of bitterness have done is to make you conscious of offenses and prevent them from festering into bitterness. Yes, sir. 
ya odie nkire kire e bo aye ni se ye ni beba ye hu se ya odie ana se se obi tu sinti dia we kwen bia so e beba na ye bebo modi akra kra na ko wie ya odie please take this one into your spirit we bo modi afa si o hu hu mu hold your heart as the most important property that you have and guard it jealously against bitterness kwa wakuma se we japade so mbo pa na bo modin se udi ni kuchi be bo ho ban na yawdie amene no now hold your heart kwa wakuma as the most important property you have se we japade a so mbo pa 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 and guard it jealously against bitterness fani kuchi e bo ho ban na yawdie amene no so we are still dealing with the first one to prevent the heart prevent bitterness from entering your heart and that's why we did kind of say you see your day about who can now proverbs 4 23 24 down to 27 now take the 23 first and take the 24 and you will find that you will find that you above all else guard your heart for everything you do flows from it now above all else guard your heart protect it for everything you do flows from it we have already said that um, that is the part where thinking feeling and choosing comes from so the writer of proverbs is saying that god this heart protect it for everything you do flows from it flows from it the heart is therefore worth guarding because out of it flow all the thoughts and words and choices of one's life. Akuma, no, Adafunu, a hun, yes, a bomb by a sense, a nipa de and a brabo, ninsem, and in a moment, two in a if you are coming. Yes, it comes from the heart. And this is supported by Jesus' teaching in Matthew 15. Now we, Yesu, or the Ninja, what Matthew has empathy, do no, etrim. Now Matthew 15, 18, 19, 20. Yes, yeah, Matthew has empathy, it do no, and you move, do what you echo. Are we together? Mm -hmm. But the things that come out of a person's mouth come from the heart, and these defile them. Now the a free a num free a dear dear. If you nipa kumemu na no any good nipa mushi. For out of the heart, out of the heart, out of the heart come evil thoughts, murder, adultery. Have you seen heart committing adultery before? In yeah. But once man. it is conceived in the heart, the heart is the workshop. Nothing enters there without the heart reproducing. And so somebody turns thoughts, immoral thoughts over and over again. And then he commits adultery. He commits murder, sexual immorality, theft false testimony slander all this come from the heart na akomanu mu na adwemone ewudisem ayefasem adwamansem ewifusem adanse krumu ene ebususem nyinara efri so you may see a person wear dress but the most important part of that fellow is the heart and that is where god always views to bit me who said down for no wahye na tade kama nanso na koma ene kire said yo tie ne ho ena da bia onyakopon yeah so scripture says blessed are the pure in heart it was him say shira ne wa wakoma mutie scripture also says that these people worship me with their lips but their heart it was him say we no what they want no ena eso me ne so wakoma we chi 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 a good man is a man with a good heart an evil person is a fellow with an evil heart. Full stop. Because these things that comes out of the heart actually defiles the person. But eating with unwashed hands does not defile them. Now the verses following 23 
then prescribes how to guard the heart. Now the writer mentions two major gates to the heart minus one. So I will supply the other one. Number one, verse 24. One major gate to the heart is the mouth gate. The mouth gate. You see, when you wake up in the morning and you start saying that ah, I'm sick, it looks like I'm sick, I'm getting sick. You see, the mouth is the master of the whole body. So the hands and the head and the nose, they all say that the master says we are getting sick. Soon you will be sick. Now, if you wake up in the morning, the first thing you do is to discuss something evil about this man. Every day, every day soon, it will open door to the heart and bitterness will enter your heart and you'll be bitter against that fellow and so be careful what you say whatever you say will possess you so sorry i'm not partner down for you want some one some one in kwa and now did you come out once you pay a bit to me a beer puno bima a fed you out you have a bit to me a bit to me a say idea when you wake up in the morning oh sorry i'm not a Bless the Lord. Say good things to your spirit. And that one will also possess you. So which one do you like? This talking evil about that brother. Or <laughs> Dr. Jafon said we should call call money. So <laughs> Japan <laughs> <laughs> so verse 24 Proverbs 4 24 so he says that keep your mouth free of perversity keep corrupt talk far from your lips because what you say you will eat it back certainly certainly to go back into your heart and this is a principle that you don't have to joke it. number two the eye gate the eye gate so verse 25 says let your eye look straight ahead Fix your gaze directly before you. Trust them, no can in your mind. You know, say, "Ma when you shut in, not when you shut it, anything in show any." I'm sure some of these things David can explain them better. Jesus says, "I know my way." I need David bit much room here, pa. Walking on top of his roof. So no, no, I'm not dying. No, it's fine. And the eye picks something into his hand. Because he made a mistake of tossing it over and still looking at the naked body of the woman, that thing entered the heart. When even the woman said, I am married, it couldn't stop. It. <laughs> so we take the third one. The third is the ear gate. The ear gate. And now of course you have heard me talk from Mark chapter 4 from 23. Now, if anyone has ears to hear, let them hear. Now he is not preventing anyone from hearing. Hearing is quite important. Very much important than talking. That is why he gave us two and one. So be swift to hear. 
but slow to speak so here keep hearing so if you have ears hear but consider carefully what you hear he continued with the measure you use it will be measured to you and even more whoever has will be given more whoever does not have even what they have will be taken from them so if you are listening listen if you want to hear hear but be careful what you hear because when it enters your heart when it enters your heart it can cause bitterness when evil things through what you are hearing enters your heart it can cause bitterness now evil communications will always corrupt good morals and verse 26 and 27 of the same chapter 4 of proverbs then brings a certain fine conclusion to what he is talking about. Give careful thought to the path for your feet and be steadfast in your ways. Give careful talk. Be careful where you go. Be careful who becomes your friend. Be careful what you listen to. Be careful what you see. Give careful thought to the path for your feet. Verse 28. And be steadfast in your ways. Do not turn to the right or to the left. Keep your foot from evil. Now, what is he trying to say? He's just trying to say, Blessed is the one who does not walk in step with the wicked, or stand in the way of the sinners, or sit in the company of mockers. But whose delight is in the law of the Lord? And who's, who meditates on his Lord day and night. Now that fellow will not be destroyed suddenly, no. Because that person is like a tree planted by streams of water. Which yields its fruit in its season. And whose leaves does not wither. And whatever they do, they will prosper. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Okay, so the second advice is this. Develop a strong, healthy heart. The heart must be strong. Now, if you are strong, your strength as a Christian is in the condition of your heart. Now, Ephesians 3, from verse 14. Ephesians 3, from verse 14. For this reason, I knew before the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth derives its name now verse 16 is the big one now, i pray that out of his glorious riches he might strengthen you with power through his spirit in your inner being. Now, Paul is praying for the church in Ephesus. That out of his glorious riches, God's glorious riches, he may strengthen the church with power through his Holy Spirit in their inner man he's saying that that their inner man will be strong i pray that your inner man will be strong that you have a strong healthy heart that is able to resist bitterness 
verse 17 said so that christ may dwell in your heart through faith and i pray that you being rooted and established in love may have power together with all the lost holy people to grasp how wide and long and high and deep the love of Christ is. Obon Payama on was saying, Now, on my Christus, and Fajidia so, and Tina Wakumemu, now what Jay or Domuhini, a Timu, now, when you are with you for Nina, and Yatre, and a Tetine, Tetine, and a Cron, and a Mudo, now one who Christo da, a Tremunina. Romans five verse five. Yeah, Romans four, Roma etinum enimu enum. Romans five verse five. I want us to pay attention to this verse. Yina yeshe sa chroiye. And hope does not put us to shame. Doesn't disappoint, because God's love has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit, who has been given to us. God has poured His love into our heart. Through the Holy Spirit. It is this love that he is saying that I pray that it will grow. Now once this love of Christ grows in your inner man. Your heart, your inner man will be a macho inner man. So, and go on do a work, Christo Muno, a to me din, in a yak, a seal with your moa yakuma, a bed and more dings, Mother Paul, or Timu, a Roman form, and more say, now any that saw and send you all. If you say, when I'm home, crunk, I would de am my young no so, if you only go on door, a guinea come. Now, may this love continue to grow in your hands. Now, may must our do in your now, when this love is growing in your heart, there will be no room to hold grudge against any man because this love. Will reject that feeling. Says all day, a nini way, a kumi mwa, didn't mean ya obi woman as a poor, a ya kwempo away in terms. Strong in a man. Say, a muni pano wa strong heart. A command in what established and rooted in the love of God. A kuma, a team, a wo in yankupon to the extent that bitterness cannot enter in spite of the offenses they may encounter. They may encounter bitterness cannot enter. Ah, could you say, and found any. Now, you see, Jesus Christ taught his disciples, Luke 21 34. Be careful, or your hearts will be weighed down with carousing, drunkenness, and the anxiety of life. And, and that day, Will close on you suddenly like a trap. Mm-hmm. A, a weak heart will be weighed down. No. Verse 35 says that for it will come on all those who live on the face of the earth. Pressure, offenses, and cares, cares of this world will come upon all of us. Now, 36 offers the solution. Be always on the watch. And pray that you may be able to escape all that is about to happen and that you may be able to stand before the son of man now, Paul was praying for the Ephesians that their heart will be strong. And Jesus says that when you yourself start praying always, waiting upon the Lord, you will be impacted with strong heart that will be able to resist the pressures of life and it will not be weighed down. And now verse 37. He wasn't just a teacher, but he was he was a doer of what he taught. Each day, Jesus was teaching at the temple. And each evening, he went out to spend the night on the hill called Mount Olive. 
and all the people came early in the morning to hear him at the temple and so de biara no na o chechre asori fie ho awia na anadjo we firi ho akotena bepo a wo fere no enwu bepo no so na man no nyina tua no pa e ba ni nchen asori fie no e betie so this is jesus yesu ni each day de biara each day de biara each night and i do be all night and i do be before the lord when you mean jesus minus you how many negatives do you have to close up oh yeah yes now bravo and oh dear wow shit you don't tell more in fact this was the difference between himself and peter when peter was saying that we'll go with you we'll die with you it's not a matter of dying with you it's about how strong your heart is we need to send your petro ni suban no any yesu de na ebebra enye se odi na no be ka keke na mum se ni na koma si wa ho den fa we all need to be strong in the inner man as ye nyina to me nya ho den emu ni pa ni so the sin will not master us na boni eni en so despite the temptation and found any or how i would do any nyo ma twa ye ho in this instance e wo that bitterness will not overtake us or not master us despite the offenses that we go through jesus was a man of sorrows was familiar with grief he however endured because he was strong on the inside. Now the Isaiah says that he was a spice and rejected by mankind. A man of suffering. Now familiar with pain. Like one from whom people hide their faces. But one of the painful things is to be despised. <laughs> Especially when your subordinate is fighting you with pains. But the Bible says, like one from whom people hide their face. He was despised. And we held the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords in, in low esteem. Now, so when someone despises you, they don't respect you, remember Jesus. Man of sorrows. Well acquainted with grief. Yet he was strong on the inside. And he was not overcome by bitterness. To the standard on the cross, he said, Lord, forgive them. Because they do not know what they are actually doing. John F. Kennedy was the 35th president of the United States. John F. Kennedy, na o ya America man peni o toso ebiasenum. He was a staunch Catholic. Na o ya Catholic asafuba mapu. In fact, there's a school of thought that his assassin confessed that he feared he was Christ Christianizing America. Wa kani hu nsembu pise wa idini emimno na usuwe se wa nshaa na obedani America maeno ame na beye Christu fuomai. He once said, and I quote, and this is what he said, Do not pray for easy lives. Pray to be stronger men. Yeah. Do not pray for easy life. Because life is not easy. Do not pray that nobody insults you. Because after you have said amen, your own wife can even disturb you. But pray to be stronger men. I pray that you be strong on the inside. Because despite all that you do, offenses will bow miscounts. Tough times, they say, do not last. But tough 
tough men do. Now, so what we do, no, we do not such tough times do not last. A brave man do, no, and do not such tough men do. Now, so what we do, no, we do not such tough. On the inside, blessed are you, oh my brother. When your heart is pure, may the Lord strengthen you in your inner man. So as we travel on the road of life, not all will love you. Some may despise you. Some may hold you in low esteem. Pressure can be on your marriage. But when you are tough on the inside, you'll be able to stand. May the Lord bless you. In the name of Jesus.